Now you can see this big branch right here. It's coming in to all this area right here. It's so got another little branch over here. Looks like that's coming in right here. So we're going to inject both of these today. Now they come off the uh, GSV. The GSV doesn't leak except for that one area where this branch comes off, which I'm going to show you. So she has two branches I'm going to inject today. And uh, this is probably the etiology of all this stasis. You can see. Now here is the uh, greater saphenous vein. You can see the branch coming off right there, going up. But if I actually, it's got two branches coming up there. But the saphenous vein itself does not reflux, just these superficial branches. So here's the saphenous vein above everything. No reflux. And it's only reflux is right at the site where these branches come off. A lot of flow there. Okay. Now I'm injecting the, uh, we'll inject Verathena going back towards the uh, GSV. And I made a little mark here. We're actually going to do a little phlebectomy in two places. And the reason is just to get, after we put the Verathena in, it get, the blood will get trapped and be a little uncomfortable. So we'll just make a little nick here in a minute after we do this injection and then just divide the vein in two places, here and here, okay? Now we're on, right over the uh, complex. You can see this foam. Here's the saphenous down here. There's actually foam in some of the small vessels here. That's under this area of stasis. So it's kind of proof positive that this was the etiology of a lot of this uh, all the staining is actually secondary to the to the leaking of red cells from this hypertension. Okay.